Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to check the side clearance, the runout, and the big end radial clearance of a Polaris 400L liquid cooled two stroke engine. Tools needed for this job are a set of V blocks, a feeler gauge, and a dial indicator. First thing we're going to want to check is your connecting rod side clearance. See how that moves side to side. In order to do this, you'll take your feeler gauge and slide it in between the washer and the connecting rod. 24 thousandths goes in with very little resistance. When you check your spec sheet here, the standard goes up to 20 thousandths, but it does not require service until 36, 36 thousandths. So at 24 thousandths, we're good. So next, using the dial indicator, We'll check run out of this end of the crankshaft. And all you want to do is simply set your dial indicator properly, zero it out, and then begin rotating the crankshaft. You want to make full, one full revolution. As you can see, we went up to about one thousandth of an inch. The runout limit is five thousandths. Next, you'll want to check the other side. Again, properly set your dial indicator and rotate it one full revolution. Again, with the runout limit at five thousandths only seeing five ten thousandths on the dial indicator we know this side is good and finally you'd like to check the big end radial clearance and that would be your connecting rod moving up and down in this position typically if you can feel it move up and down you know you're out of spec but we'll measure it here to show you guys what numbers we get so here it's properly zeroed out. If you raise up on this, push down, raise up, it's pretty tight, maybe five ten thousandths of an inch. For the big end radio clearance, standard is four ten thousandths again, to fifteen ten thousandths with the limit of two thousandths. And what we saw with the measurement we just took. We know that's well within spec. So there you have it. Thank you for watching.